We're going against the rookie and Trey Hawkins. Watch the post pattern, hard inside, sell it, and then try and hit the brakes and go back the other way. Hartman. Play, watch this route by Brown on the young rookie. Bye! And then Jalen Hurts goes out and finds him. So many weapons, we talked about them. Debo Samuel came into camp in great shape. Brandon Ayuk looking to build off of his career year last year. Look at how old. A little bit of quiet in the stadium, too. A beautiful route here by Mike Evans with the double move. They call this kind of a corner post. Yep. Leans it to. Rapolo talked about Devontae Adams said, sometimes it looks like he's not running full yeah. speed, <laughs> but he covers a lot of ground. I had thrown a pass. He has the extra gear. Watch right here. Look at how he just leaves Griffin. That little bit of separation. 30-yard catch and run, first down. Well, this is the, the risk you take when you go man-to-man -man against this Dolphins team. The motion by... He catches the ball, the little lunge into the end zone to make sure that he squeezes it. They come after him, D.J. Reed, he's an off technique and a good route at the top. You see how it looked like he was going to accelerate, gets D.J. Reed turned around, thinking he's going to go deep. Sluggo, he's going to go slow off the line, quick inside, and then run the sluggo behind him, watch. Whoop! Oh my, shout out Chris Berman. Holy smoke. A little bit nodded inside for Jackson so that he would hold himself a little bit and then that ball laid perfectly. We're gonna watch him right here. He's coming in motion. He aligns right there. Watch the double move that he puts on. He gives him that little like we said earlier. Get some separation with their speed guys down the field. You just coverage. He saw the single coverage, man coverage, just Jim James going outside. A young receiver as I've ever seen. This ball was up the field. So Action, and then you get the one-on-ones down the field. But I tell you, this is a well-coached Lions receiving core out there. They have and here's a look at it. I mean, he gets Taron Johnson moving, he gets off. Now, this because of coverage. You can see how he throttled it down. That's what he and Aaron Rodgers ate that throwing lane. You've got to create throwing space here and then really got McJay Henderson finally and uh, make a pay. And this is the danger of a guy like Kyle Pitts. We talked about him. Named a tight end. Really not a really nice job here by Rasul Douglas. He's big and physical enough to be able to go one on one. What they're trying to run here, this is called a corner stop or a seven stop. They want the defender open here, but you had great pressure up front. So that little step, that hand goes up, and oh. there's nobody in the middle of the field. He was questionable coming into today. He's just going to run a little dig. Watch him. He just shows a little outbreak, little double move, crosses it. When Josh Allen gets the ball, when he feels pressure, he's immediately looking for a place to go. Diggs comes off the ball, and he's time drive. Watch Darnell Mooney here working in the slot, just runs a little wheel route. Coverage, if you want to try to come out here, and make a play on the outside. You've got to line up and play some man coverage, but not against that. With a good route and a good release off the line of scrimmage, you see the grab. Three and then a fumble almost and the big play and now they score. And just watch this ball placement. It's exactly where you teach it. Well, there he is, the guy that they were really expecting big things. Good little double move on the inside of the field by Noah Gray. And we talked about maybe he couldn't run quite like and here's Downs on the inside. He's going to see that the blitz is coming from Foye at Lulcon, so he goes hot route. Bam, right there. Earlier in this game, so you put him to the left side, and you know you've got D.J. Reed then matched up. D.J. Reed's a good corner. Now this is just one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Really good timing. Good position by Brock Purdy on the throw. And, and Brendan Ayuk. Deep down the field, Shahid at the top of the screen. You're thinking, oh, he probably ran a double move. No double move there. Just flat out one. One-on-one -on -one against Michael Davis to the corner. What a day. He had Watch only that. one touchdown catch all of last year, Tony. He's got two today. Oh, he just made slay. In this game, you can go right back right here. He's going to throw 52 Cunningham and then somehow. Well, you talk about confidence in your player. Going to be a back shoulder throw. Let's watch that left foot. There's the right one down. Here comes the left one. Gets it in. I really do like for game one. I, I like what I've seen from Stroud. He really. Yeah, really nice job. It's just you can see him. They bring Reed in a little short and they run double dig. He runs across. Eddie Jackson gets held by the outside receiver. To be less than a yard short. Yep, and they're, they're going to do it again for the second time in this game. But. You know, Rashad Bateman really hasn't had the seasons that he has wanted because of the injury situation. This offseason, watching golf never get touched. And then that guy right there 
First down, Ravens. Yeah, you see, we talk about how effortless Lamar Jackson is running with the football. Look how effortless it is for Zay Flowers. Look at this break on the ball. Just explodes mm. out of that break. And three or four yards of the line of scrimmage. There just isn't that kind of depth there. The, Stephon Diggs in the middle. He's got to clear out. He's got to keep going. You see the congestion there. And for a quarterback, you got two, two blue jerseys, essentially. It's in going one way. And watch Moore's route to the middle. Gives him Lenard and comes back to the outside. Runs away from Mike Hilton, the nickelback. Wide open. Action. <laughs> Look at how fast and explosive he is off the football. It frankly surprises the secondary. Like you, you can see that there is a practice speed, then there's a game speed. It's Daryl Baker, that's their starting corner. And Evan Ingram literally goes on a fade route up and over the top. Great ball. He had explosives with all year last year. Good call by Kevin O'Connell. Very nice throw, very nice catch. Back to Tampa to try and do something different after the half. You know, coming into this game, trying to say you're going to take him away, and then he comes out and he's got over 100 and whatever. Oh. You can see Sauce Gardner over there on this left side. He's not hard to find. That's where he's going to be. All right, this is a crossing route right here. John Gruden used to stay Spider 2 Y Banana. Man. <laughs> they tried to, they tried everything here. And Grant Delpit is a safety, not normally in this type of coverage. Right through the seam. Carlton Davis, this is a mat looks like a matchup zone coverage here. Carlton comes out on number one. Now this is what makes it hard, right? Justin Jefferson can make any catch. Throw it high, he's going to go get it. And so, go to it. You know, when you have LeBron James, let him shoot the basketball. You have Darren Waller, and he can make catches like that. He knew exactly what was about to happen to him here. He knew he had to catch this ball and just take this shot. Thomas, you just wonder, for Waller, he was dealing with a little bit of a hamstring tweak which was his problem a season wow that could have ended the game right here this is a very difficult throw to make trying to throw an out cut that's it's actually a great throw but a very poor decision by Tyreek Hill the Chargers only rush three Tua steps up in the pocket and he sees Tyreek Hill one-on-one -on, -one on that right side and Braxton Berrios sticking with Tua as he gets to the outside look at the placement of that football wow able to secure the ball there's well, the normally sure-handed Keenan Allen, that time Xavier Howard, watch with that left arm comes sweeping in and is able to punch it loose by ripping at that arm. He works very hard to ensure. It's a good job by Blankenship out in the ball. Right down here, you're going to see this route, and he's going to go ahead and shake Bradbury and move him like a joystick outside and then cut across him and take the angle high so Bradbury can only undercut it. He's as quick as a hiccup, as you said, Kevin, but he's also strong as a running back. And he reminded us of that in meetings yesterday. He said a lot of defensive backs. And he had a little step. They throw these 50-50 balls a lot, but the range of the free safety come flying over. Beat out Dustin Hopkins in a competition in camp. Readies. Apple with the big cook. And watch Puka right here. The bottom of your screen. Once again, in those zones, just a quick little sit route like an RPO this is a called run you see the pullers up front and Matthew Stafford wow the side slant pocket collapsing around Tonga Vailoa once again and Davis with that right arm and he's guessing he gets too far inside but to make up that ground and then to track the ball throw to the slot on a little slant move and the yards after catch is what makes this play happen Waddle a year ago over 18 yards per reception going half speed no it's right inside. there if it's I mean, early right there he yeah. has him but it's late but it's like not. you said going deep down the field and he's looking he's looking at a possible pass interference right there by Yanum, picked off by marcus may you'll see him right here those guys are going at a hand fighting he's running a go route Tannehill throw. there's sertan in off coverage and then watches he lets Devontae adams go across the middle comes back in yeah nice, nice job by Cortland sudden Kind of breaking down and getting past, and Epps not knowing where the no, no flag on that. It looked like there might have been a jump on the left side, but you know, I don't know if George Pickens is going full speed here right now. I, you saw him look to the the coverage, how good it is. DeAndre Carter was much more open coming across the field on a crossing route, obviously trying to take a shot there with the flea flicker. And we're going to see right here, Hooker, looks like they're playing a cover two. He's an inside zone dropper, and he's always taught, hey, I sit in zone when I... We've seen everybody just push the quarterback or the running back past the line of scrimmage. 
And here, they're trying to run a pick play, and Devontae Adams is the guy who's going to pick. Looking at one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. This is where Christian Fulton, he just runs a go-out for Fulton. Well, right here, bottom of your screen, and you see Forbes on in trail. They're using that too high. He was trying to go inside right there to DeAndre Hopkins, and Alante Taylor does not. Boy, they have been sitting on those tight ends. Kayvon Wallace reads this right here. Turner, I mean, he came from about 50. It picked on Wilson on McLaurin right here, and it's just really good. Out of his back pedal, drive on the football. Hopkins up in the air, he comes down with it. But you're going to see two Saints defenders both right there. Marcus May and Marshawn Lattimore have DeAndre Hopkins absolutely blanketed. Tannehill throws it up into a kind of a DB meet. You're going to see Lattimore at the top of your screen with Hopkins one-on-one. -on -one. And you see from both of these guys, it's physical. And you're saying, why isn't the ref calling holding? He might have grabbed Hopkins' hands. For the ref, if you see two guys.